once again, all this is planning. And I, I go back to Miss Big Back. She- Cause, Cause she didn't have a you, did, she definitely did. did let's look at the size she definitely she she definitely had a, a huge back. What would you say um, your back size is? It's it's big, large. Look, nah, look, look, like extra large. There you go. Why, bro? You can say humongous. She got like a um. She looked like a deep freezer. There you go. That's where I want you to go. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> Come with me. Now, the only reason I'm saying this, guys, is because, like I said, like, you give me no no, no choice. Like, I be trying to go to bat and really be defending y'all, but how do you take your three children and, and just up and chase a dream that's not even really, like, that's not realistic? Like, come she on. Ha- and why ha- Houston? What the hell you talking about? Yeah. Since I'm the only thing to talk about, being here from the start. I don't want your awards. Keep your applause. What's going on? This is Shot of Discourse. It's your boy, Debt Free Demon. I'm here with... It's your girl, Yaz, guys. What's good? Back with another episode. Back with another drink. Not a shot. And you're still not... <laughs> drinking. Well, I'm drinking. You're going... Not, yeah, not yeah, yeah. You're going on alcohol. strong. No alcohol. It's good old pineapple juice. What chakras have this released for you? None. Um, I'm trying to. Th- we want progress on the the clarity thing. Like, what's so, what's gonna I happen? I mean, here? it's not even. Hopefully, maybe shoot, mm-hmm. might have some super superpowers. I mean, it just gives I thought me. You gonna say super? Su- <laughs> 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 Shit. Wow, bold. Hey, yo. Yeah. Um, it just honestly, it's just I get to see how what I used as vices. Okay. Like whether you know alcohol, alcohol was a vice. Got you. For Got me you. to be able to cope or not deal with whatever I didn't feel like dealing with. Well, I'm glad you're getting over your alcoholism. <laughs> like it's very important that you stop. First doing of all, that. guys, let's be clear. Stop being an alcoholic. not an alcoholic. <laughs> you're recovering. I'm not recovering. Come on. Do you want to apologize you, to anybody? No, I don't, because I'm not an addict. Then why are you? I just didn't want to drink anymore. Okay. I'm not an addict, guys. Anyway, sounds like you are. Sounds like you are. Sounds like you are. That's crazy. Anywho, <laughs> I got a story. <laughs> um, and it's just like <laughs> I'm got it. I gotta be careful because like I don't want to seem like I am against black women because I'm not. And we said it on this podcast that there are grades. <laughs> of humans Levels. I'm not gonna say race Cause every race has them We heard this comedy routine White people got rednecks I don't know what Indians and Asians have That's a Yeah me either I think the The, the Asians have triads That they're not very proud of okay. And there's some country bumpkins And then mm-hmm. um, But the blacks We have A subset of humans That just Scam Pilfer and make stupid decisions. Yep. Touche. You ready for this one? <laughs> Let's take it to the tape. Well, tonight, oh, the mayor toured this warming center in Acres Homes this afternoon. It's one of dozens spread throughout Harris County tonight, giving shelter to those who couldn't find a warm place to sleep. Get somewhere safe and warm for the night until I'm able to figure out at least how to get home. Kiara Jones came to Houston from Tallahassee at the start of the new year, chasing after a dream. This is like one of the biggest populations of oh, the... Oh, that's the backwoods. Uh, that's kind of my... <laughs> goal to become a big influencer she'd been Yo. staying in a motel this month with her That's mo- stop yeah. now we're not gonna do that to the babies okay you're right the mom get all this smoke man uh... after a while He like, I'm you bitches. <laughs> His face was like, you bitches. I don't want to listen to Yeah, this is this is crazy. But let, let's 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 do this. What do you think happened when that man walked in there? That white man. Shut up. I 
don't know if he thought that that's what he was going to encounter. You see, there's white <laughs> people have good intentions. Like some of them right. have very good intentions. Right. Like, oh man, let's get the story. Mm-hmm. Why is this woman in here? Yep. Let's but see if we can get her some help. You know what they don't consider a factor? What? <laughs> Scamming. The gotcha. The, yeah. I'm not really almost. I'm just trying to like. I'm just, I just trying to get my 15, y'all got a place with heat. Seconds of fame. You know what I'm saying? Right. Now to move. Well, let's, let's let's first laugh at ourselves. What would you say is the dumbest thing that you have ever done? That's equivalent. Not even equivalent, but like it's close <laughs> to moving from Florida to Texas to become a social media content superstar. I can't even think of anything to be honest with you that has come close to like as I said that title I realized the job is remote and it could be done anywhere <laughs> all you need is Wi-Fi yep not even that yeah because you could post you could, with your data plan yeah yeah so I don't the fact that she says she moved to Houston to be a I don't even know where her strategy was I don't think that I don't I don't looking at her she ain't had no strategy. Please don't let me cook too early. I don't want to cook too early. I'm listen. Let, I'm me, cooking because I be pre, trying. Let's let's preheat the oven before I, we get to the looks. I try. I really be trying to go to bat for my black women. I really, really, but y'all, all people like this make it so hard for me to go to bat for y'all. And I'm not saying that this is the majority, but the fact that like, girl, you got three kids, you. You went on national television. TV. To tell them that you moved from Tallahassee to Houston to be a content creator and an influencer. What are you influencing? Who are you influencing? Homeless people to be homeless? Oh, my God. That's a good one. (laughs) How to survive the streets in Houston after I moved and ran out of money. And that would be one of the TikToks or like, YouTubes that you see. Come on, guys, get ready with me. I'm homeless with three kids. Let's go. Yeah, but the thing, but the thing, but and it's crazy because I've seen a few people on TikTok that live out of their car and they make content based off of living out of their car. Yo, and you the crazy part to me is like I do the podcast, right? I do we do this. Mm -hmm. We don't get paid. Mm -mm. But it's just a continuation of a friendship of having these dope conversations that I really enjoy. Right. I like having this thing. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun to do. Yes. Do I plan on becoming some big mega star on uh, social media? No. No. Mm-hmm. But you never know what could happen. Listen. But it's just good to do it. And my the reason why I'm doing this anyway is because, God forbid, something happens to me. I want y'all to have something to look back on. Like, right. oh, man, I remember when <laughs> Deem said, yo, Deem went, yo, remember when Deem was going like this? That's pretty much the reason why I'm doing this. And then, like, my daughter, she could look back right. and have Say some how stuff. how crazy her It's very was. good to just kind of, like, we have technology to immortalize ourselves and give our uh, loved ones something to look back on. Right. That's what I do this for. Now, for I don't know what this big heffalump girl, big back chick. Heffalump? <laughs> I feel like I'm making the t- you never heard of a heffalump? No. No. I feel like a, that's a Disney character. A uh, heffalump. Yeah, no. Nah. We got to look that up. Yeah, we might have to look we might have to look that up. Like I said, she goes there for the wrong reasons. And I think this is very important to talk to everybody about like with chasing social media. I've seen some um posts today mm-hmm. where it's like you don't get paid too much for doing this stuff anymore like no. the days no. of being like a super big social media star is like we're we're seeing it pass like there's no yeah. there's no return on on it like yeah country wayne is doing it good i think desi like and i'm talking about black creators first of all and these are also comedians too like these people they go they, on the they, road they, they, they have they, a yeah. lane so they, they're also doing a job like they're getting paid not because of the being a content creator no they're getting paid because they're comedians so that goes into a, a idea of they have a business plan and they right. have a strategy, right. right? Yep. And just looking at this example, it just makes me think about how people start businesses without a plan or without an approach or like True. go into like posting resumes and don't know what kind of career path they want to go into. Right. Yeah. So 
speaking of like Desi Banks and Country Wayne, I speak about Country Wayne because he'll post things on Instagram. He saw Instagram wasn't giving the ad money he wanted. Mm -hmm. Switched over to Facebook where he has a bigger audience. His audience is, you know, older black people. Of course. Church related. They don't want to hear no cussing and all that stuff. He's, <laughs> it's true. He serves his audience. And guess what? That's just view. That's the advertising. And he yeah. gets a little ad dollars from that. But this is to, to the bigger bag where he does a tour. Right. And now his fans want to come and see him. And he has a, a set. Marketing. That's what it is. Strategic. Now, these people post online and think they just going to get a check for, I don't know what they're doing. I think it's because... The way, like, the accessibility of going viral um, on TikTok, people think that all they need is that one video. So it just, and it's like, yeah, but that's not, just because you go viral doesn't mean that you're going to start monetizing off of that. And you may go viral off of something that is just not even anything. Now, now what? Like what? You know what? What, that, what lane you going? That's in? the crazy part, and that that makes me think about our our business. I feel like um, we're behind. I'm, I'll be fully transparent. I think that we're behind. I feel like um, we need to set up a merch store. We need to have uh, products that are like, you know, someone say, "Yo, you saying free quiz door?" I never heard that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or like shirts, yeah. shirts that say "Put the beds together" or things that say <laughs> "Put the beds together." Like, yeah, I'm starting to really be like, dang, yeah. if we would have popped, we don't have any place for the people to go that want to support us. Right. So I think that's something we should we should yeah, think about. But think about it. These are the things that like I don't think people go into social media with a plan and approach yeah. to make money off of it. They just think they're going to post the thing they're going to viral and then TikTok and YouTube, Instagram, they're just going to give them checks. Yeah. That's not how this works. And I think that it takes away when they start to do that, it takes away from the fun of social media like. I always say to you about like our stuff when it comes to posting. I don't like because I don't I we gotta do too much. I, I just wanna post and go. Like I don't feel like making it look a certain way. I don't feel like putting all these all this bedazzled all of these things on there. Like, bro, I'm just I just want to post and go. And if nah, you, you like it, you like it. And if you don't, you don't. You gotta like, you know, you gotta I, put a little sauce no, on No, I'm like, I don't I feel like we got so much better at the reels though. You have gotten so much better at the reels because as you see, I have not I just repost what you post. Yeah, I haven't yeah. done it yet. My because when I do crazy. do my reels, it takes me forever to do it. Well reels aren't real reels are kind of hard. They are very hard. Yeah, and I'm hard. like even when I make my TikToks, like when I'm, I'm trying to get better at using my the, the things that I have to to actually do content and take it seriously because I wasn't. So even when I do stuff like that, like even putting together little TikToks, like I don't really I put the stuff together and I post it. it would, would, I'm not about to do no transition. I'm not about to do nothing. Oh, chill, chill, chill. I ain't doing all of that. You gonna get you gonna get these pictures, you're gonna get these videos, you're gonna get all of these things put together in a compilation, and that's how it is. And then I'ma say what I'ma say, like, oh, this is where I went, whatever the case, whatever. Oh, you one of those. I don't feel like <laughs> doing all of these, like when I look at people, oh, get ready. No, oh, no. No, 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 that's corny. Like, there's definitely corny content that I will never want to replicate. Goodness, Once again. I, I all I want to do is give advice and <laughs> make the young boys learn different from what I've done. And I think some of the content hits, right? <laughs> like I got I got a reel in my pocket right now. Oh god. In my pocket oh, this far. God. But when I get I, I just think it's cool to like learn how to do these yeah. other things. Like um like when we I want to start doing sketches and, and different yeah. stuff like that. Like yeah. even when we did the little Brent commercial i thought that was i yeah, thought that was, was kind of tough was, you know what i'm saying yeah, that was so that was um just trying to take it to the next level and challenge myself on how to yeah. create those um those reels i think you should learn it because then you you know you get better yeah yeah but then you can sell that skill to other people yeah i know i'm i'm, I'm trying i said I, I said there's things that i need to start to take seriously that i said i wanted to do before so now i'm trying only to... if you want to though yeah no because it takes what... a lot of time yeah it does so it i'm just like i'm not gonna be hard on myself if i if i try it and it works then i you know it is it it is what it is like if i don't then i won't and i'll just stay in my lane and whatever my lane is but nonetheless like i think that people forget that content like you're not coming out the bat making no nah. you Maybe. might not i have a video on tiktok that went viral technically 
I'm not getting. Everyone's like, "Oh, you ain't getting no money for that." No, and no. I wasn't. I wasn't even trying to go viral. Yeah. I don't even know how it went viral. Yeah. I just posted. I just used the sound that they had on TikTok, posted it, and then all these people started liking and watching it. I got I a theory. Understand. I got a theory about TikTok. Tick. I, I, and I told Ashley this. I was like, TikTok is a. Um, it's just. It's just a bomb. Like you. You just keep feeding yep. it. Yep, it's and gonna eventually it's going it's going to blow up, and like you're going to get the one that gets how many plays did that one get? Or how it's three at this point it's three hundred and twenty two thousand. Okay, three hundred and twenty two thousand views. All right, so three hundred twenty two thousand, right? Um, I don't know how many of that is real, like real or bots, but it, let's just say, yeah. let's just say eighty percent of that TikTok makes it bounce around and go crazy. That's right. the that's the right. the key to TikTok. Um, I think the game is. Get viral on there because it's just random and, and people are going to flock to your page that you would never like, no, mm-hmm. you don't follow them. Mm-hmm. If they like the content, they're going to follow mm-hmm. as long as you're consistent. Mm-hmm. Now, you take the TikTok people and you push them to your YouTube. Yep. Yeah. And then YouTube is the payout. Yeah. Like TikTok, I heard TikTok pays a little bit, but you want to get people over to YouTube yeah. and then you want to get people over to a platform like uh, Twitch where they actually donate to you, and that's like your super fans, right? So people, it's like s- networking speed dating is TikTok. <laughs> YouTube is like, uh, you know, we're talking. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then streamers were dating. Yeah, like, we give me this, money. We are in. You know what I'm saying? We <laughs> like, are heavy in I'm this thing. Where my give my right. hand, give my money. Right. Like, but I once again, all this is planning, and I I go back to Miss Big Back. She- Cause, she, a, you, she definitely did. Let's, let's she definitely, she she definitely had a a huge back. What would you say um, your back size is? It's it's big, large. Look, nah, look, look, like extra large. There you go. Why, bro? You can say humongous. She got like a um. She looked like a deep freezer. There you go. That's where I want you to go. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> Come with me. Now, the only reason I'm saying this, guys, is because, like I said, like, you give me no no, no choice. Like, I be trying to go to bat and really be defending y'all, but how do you take your three children and, and just up and chase a dream that's not even really, like, that's not realistic? Like, come she on. Ha- and why to, Houston? She just had to say that. She just had to say that. Yeah, because according to TikTok, yeah, that's so, that, that ain't the reason. Hold on, let's play this next... Uh, so apparently, you know, this is, let me tell you something too, right? <laughs> Whenever stories come out, y'all might be like, hey, I can't wait to see Death Redeem and, and y'all talk about this topic. I don't. I'm not hopping on nothing right away because I know it's a fake. I know something's behind it and yeah. I don't want to talk about it yet. Yeah. I want some weeks to pass by yep. and then I want people to tell the truth. Just like this woman does right here. Let yeah, because this up. was back in, I think this came back in like January. To, to Houston stuff. to mm-hmm. become a content creator. Allegedly, she is fucking scamming. So first of all, her GoFundMe <laughs> went I from time to raise $2,000 to $20,000. She's up the price. She's up the price. Second of all, there are people that actually know this woman in Tallahassee. That says she moved for a man. So those of y'all that are saying, and y'all that's hear somebody thing. saying that I. Y'all be posting stuff on a, like a social media platform. Like people don't really know who y'all are. Like people don't like y'all are not somebody else. Like you don't have family or don't have friends that know you off of social media. I just don't understand. So you like, she just said, like people know that that's not why you went there. Oh, You're lying. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, you yeah. put up this persona to be this person on social media. And Once again, she know never you outside of that. When that white man came into that gymnasium or wherever she was at, they just wanted to find a story. So they found a story. She gave them a story. There's no way she thought that people from she's in Texas. Nobody knew that in in her hometown in what Tallahassee or something like that. Yeah, that this was gonna get picked up and then they gonna find out. You just no, think but you're I get think this she off. was already talking about. I feel like. I feel like the way it looked like on TikTok, she was already talking about this. Maybe I we don't I don't we don't really know on her timelines. Profile. Yes, you saw her profile. I feel like she was talking. <laughs> <laughs> she was. This I want to know what her content this, would be, this, bro. It ain't nothing. But what would oh, it be? I mean, you said it. 
Nah, don't do that. Don't say I said it. All right. <laughs> Kadeem said. Uh, hey, nope, nope. Don't do that. Don't do that. You're going to get me in trouble. Jesus, already. No Kadeem did not that, say Kadeem this. didn't say this, but he's mad that he right. didn't think of it first. Yeah, I'm going to show y'all one comment, bro. <laughs> so, guys, she really does have a GoFundMe. Like, Kadeem pulled it up, and he's looking at it right now. She still has this GoFundMe. It's very much... Yo, um, somebody said this is an anonymous... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, y'all are ruthless like if she was a content creator this is what she would do she can do unboxings when she unloads her groceries she bought with her snap card oh lord fire oh, lord. Oh, lord. fire clap I would good you know what I'm saying that's just a good solid burn bro so I wish I would have said that and alright so now what, you, what, what would you what kind of content would you see her post um, What's your I, favorite type of content to look at? That's a good question. I like to see like um, makeup, different makeup. And then like when people go out places or when they're traveling, stuff like that. Good. New restaurants, new, just a site. What restaurant would she go to? Ooh. <laughs> she is in Texas, right? Come on. She going to Bojangles or something. Okay. Okay, I like. Let's cook. Let's cook a little yeah, bit she, more. Okay, she's probably gonna go to Bojangles. Bojangles, and she just gonna like throw all that stuff, like get like a two piece with the biscuit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? She gotta eat before she goes to the grocery store. Yeah, what grocery you know, store is she going to? Piggly Wiggly. Ooh. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Piggly Wiggly. Sis what she got on though? Because she did a get ready with me she earlier. Got, she got slippers with the fur. Yep. She the got pink like fuzzies. the um the soft like pajama pants. Mm-hmm. She got on the bonnet for Woo! sure. The bonnet was great. For, for sure, definitely got on the bonnet. Mm. Um, probably ain't got no bra on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just them joints like is hanging. They, yeah, they just be doing stuff. So she's just outside looking like a um a struggle. The struggle that she's in, actually. Mm. That she. I think she would be in. a um. I honestly, her profession. I think she would. You know how in. I don't know if you ever seen this, but like. China's doing like they just pull out bags out the stuff and they show to their uh, followers and be like, oh, I'm selling this for like three hundred dollars. Like that's becoming a big thing now. Or if you look on Amazon, Amazon will have people in their closet or Mm -hmm. in a studio showing you like different clothes and stuff like that. Mm. I'm saying it now. That's going to be a huge trend. I, I would say that she goes and steals from Macy's, steals mad stuff from Macy's and then comes home and, you know, she's not the smartest criminal. So she posts all the stuff that she steals and then tries to sell it online. That would be crazy. That I think that's her content, man. That would be fire. So she's a scammer and a booster. A booster, yeah. For sure, for that would sure. be a that would be a good profession. I mean, that's that 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 don't sound too far fetched. Cause you gotta get it how you live. You gotta do what you gotta do to because now you have three children that are living sleeping on a sheet on the floor of a gymnasium Mm-mm. um when it's cold outside. Yo, and that's what even said. So, so guys, um, here's the GoFundMe, right? Uh, I'll try to scan through and show you some images of it. First of all, the title is "It's not what God intended for me." I won't give up. The perseverance in hey, the title. Hey, yo, let's talk about the title. Don't do the don't do it yet. But what about the title? I, that's what I'm talking about. It's not what God intended for me. I won't give up. Girl, can't stop, won't stop. That's God a Diddy is quote. going. That's why God gave up on you because that's not what He intended for you to do. That's why you and your children was in the cold and sleeping on the floor. That's Sometimes not what He told you to the do. The greatest challenges are for God's strongest warriors. That's not. No, she put herself. He didn't. That wasn't a challenge that He gave her. She was probably good where she was. Mm. It, she not. And I mean, when I say good, I mean relative. Like. She probably had a job wherever it was, whatever. She had a roof over her head, clearly in her children's head. You're saying job. Come on now. And I'm saying, and I said job, whatever it was. You saying job. Whatever, whatever sis was doing when she was in Tallahassee. Maybe she had support. Maybe she was living with her parents or maybe she was living with a baby dad. I don't know. So now the TikTok for the, you know, the GoFundMe. Started at two, uh, I think two thousand yes, dollars. It went up to twenty, 20 but then she brought it down to ten, as of today. And how much did she? How much? Only did she only one thousand one hundred sixty five dollars. And kudos to America, guys. Don't fall for it. We're done. 
after uh, what was We're that girl's name? Which one? The girl that that st- staged the whole kidnapping. We did an sh- episode on her too. Carlish Car. Ooh, the AKA. A- She's not an AKA. But you, <laughs> you just had to say Carly that, Russell. right? It took me a while. That's crazy. That's, That's the, the first, first thing you yeah. said. Aye, Carly yeah, Russell. Yeah. Then the brick girl that got hit in the head with a brick and she injected uh, stuff in her face to make it look like a wound. She never got hit with a brick. My? She took that GoFundMe money. Why and y'all went, be, why she went, y'all she be, took that GoFundMe money and went to Jamaica or, you know, DR. Did she come back? Twerking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She should have stayed there. She's, uh, she, she got, got a case. Done? She got a case on her. No. Oh, she did. She did not need her jail. body done. Y'all, y'all keep, y'all keep playing. Y'all going to jail. All y'all going to jail. Did PPP not need her loans, body done. GoFundMe scammers. All stop y'all stop wishing. Stop wishing bad, bro. I'm not wishing bad. You are. No, no. Said, they going to jail. Like, they going to jail. Come on. Let's read the description. <laughs> it's not what God intended for me, but <laughs> <laughs> for me. I won't give up. But I won't give up. I'm a I'm gonna try my best to do this rendition in his black girl Kiara voice. voice. My name is Kiara, and I just moved from Texas with my three small children. And we all have is the rental van. We came in and we've been sleeping in it for some time. Other times we at my brother's house, one bedroom. I already so applied. It's a it's a it's a, it's a run on sentence. So <laughs> bear with me, guys. Let me start over and catch my breath. We had my brother's one bedroom already applied and they're approved for a two bedroom, but only had enough to apply for the rest I'm using to keep my rental and my boys comfy. I just got breathe. my interview at Denny's and breathe. it went good. I, there's no there's no part. There's no part to breathe. Let me start back. My boy's comfy. I just got my interview at Denny's. It went good. I just need the help to get our apartment so we can not live in a rental. Anything with help. I'm trying to make things better for my babies. Oh, and then here's the update. February 10th, 2024. Really? <clears throat> Let's do it again. Hey, guys, I hope that I could, uh, that I could get many prayers and love. I broke my ankle. And I can't. <laughs> 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 I can't work physically. I can't work physically. (laughs) So so I'm looking for work from home job. That's crazy. Now it makes it hard because I haven't heard anything from my apartment. I'm still saving up. I would like for y'all to show as much love as you can. It's been hard for me and my boys since I left the hospital. I need financial help. You already got a thousand dollars, Kira. How much more do you need? I, I I feel like it doesn't even matter. How much more do you need? She needs a miracle. And she probably should, the same God that she said that this ain't what he intended for her, she probably needs to go back and beg for forgiveness and get it together. Oh, and then it, you want to talk about the baby dad that was in the uh, clip? Yeah, well, yeah. It, all, this, this, it also was said on TikTok that this is a lie. Um, She went to Texas for some guy. <sighs> And her baby dad got mad because he was also with her. And and when you see the clip, you're going to see this backwoods jacket. And that's what somebody said on TikTok. And I didn't understand her what they baby meant. Dad. Her baby dad is actually with her in the in the gymnasium. And the time. Bro. What, what, Yo, first okay. of all. What is happening right now? I'm going to screenshot this and show y'all this too. Brenda, Brenda D. $200. I pray for you to reach your goal. What's going on? Maybe because she's like she's it's going she's gonna be blessed. Some people do that because they want the blessing that's gonna come from that. That's not where blessings come from. They, listen, some people think if I do if I do good and I donate, I ain't questioning whether it's real or whether it's fake. God is not a vending machine. God is going to bless. God me is not a vending people. machine. That's not how it works. You pray, you be a good person, you put good energy out there, and you praise God. Well, maybe it's come down from praising the Lord and respecting your heavenly father, not donating to a GoFundMe platform where GoFundMe takes 30 to 50 percent of your um, y- your earnings. Well, Stupid. Brenda, um, she not going to get all of that. She probably going to get Brenda about 75 dollars. Good Lord. But thank you for donating. To her. I mean, I wouldn't. So that's the business model, y'all. Like on some real stuff, if you know, get hurt. Get homeless, um, drop out of school, and create a crazy story, bro. Let some white people find you, and then, you know, tell them a crazy story, and then set up a GoFundMe. That's the business model this year. 
or for the past two years. Y'all can follow that business model if you want. Oh no, not. I mean, my business model is get a job. That's that's cool. go to work. The, the the fact that this is what we're promoting and this is what like we are. She wanted to go viral and basically did go viral because she's she saying that she did not want to go viral. This happened all by accident. She said she wanted to be an influencer. Now you, now you, now you didn't influence. What's she going to influence? She didn't cardboard put, boxes. That, listen, now your name is out there, and now people it's know who two, you are. And they talk a, about a two room cardboard box flat. Yeah, but I don't know if just because like if the more that people bring this stuff to TikTok and talk about it, if that's going to make you monetize off it, whether it's a couple dollars or it's not, I don't know how it goes. Once again, so if the point was to make money off of uh, I social guarantee media, you she didn't even put her her banking information in TikTok for the check to come at a certain place. And she's homeless. Where's the TikTok check going to go? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe her cash app card. <laughs> you frustrated He me. was too stunned to speak. You frustrated me. <laughs> Listen, How disappointed are you with this person? I am very disappointed. I'm disgusted. Do you wear a bonnet? Yes, I do wear a bonnet. In public? Uh, No. I don't wear a bonnet in public. Why not? And I well, I barely wear a bonnet, but um, I just don't feel the need. Now, if I have my scarf on, that's something different. But I don't have a bonnet on. When I the bonnets on. have gotten like bigger and ridiculous. Yes, they are very much big because it depends on how much hair. Like black women got hair. Sometimes y'all be putting these big old bonnets on and only got a strand of hair. I don't understand why. Good but say. hey, um. For the naturalistas, girls that have braids like these, you need a bigger bonnet to put all of this hair in. I feel in. like... Let me bash men first to make this sound a little bit better. <laughs> I don't like when like when dudes go outside and they got basketball slides on, shorts, uh, you know, a tee that they clearly slept in, and then a do-rag on. I'm, I I I think you've been to jail before. <laughs> hey, I don't yo. I don't think you work consistently. <laughs> and if you guys think that's offensive, you know, I, I'm sorry. That's just my my thought. Like my I was raised to wear a belt, have pants on, and look presentable when you go outside. I'm now I, I know there I know it's a different phase in life. Yeah. You know, people are dressing how they want, but nine times out of ten, if I'm to guess that you have a career. And it's Tuesday at 2 p.m. <laughs> and you're in that outfit. I think you're unemployed. And you're here to cause trouble. And I want to get away from you as expeditiously as possible. Same thing with the bonnet girls. I don't care if you're at the airport. I don't even know why you're like that at the mall. Well, the, I mean, the airport is one. Chill, bro. Different. Chill, bro. Once again, I keep telling you, it's about representation, right? Sometimes, if you ever think about it, Sometimes you're the first black person that a somebody's ever met. Now I've I've I understand that like you know we have to act so much more um, responsible and perform so much better than other races just to get a chance. Right. But I think on the other end we shoot ourselves in the foot because we don't come presentable in a certain way a lot of the time. Yeah, but I mean, my thing is. It, outside of I get it like coming out just going to wherever with a bonnet on okay I get it but like when you're in the airport if you you're in the airport like I mean you could go to the airport whatever however you want to go to the airport like sometimes you got your you got your scarf on you got your hair wrapped up because you're about to go to sleep on the plane anyway I understand but guess what there are business people who are flying on the plane yeah, but celebrities are but celebrities I, whoa, also whoa, whoa, do the whoa. same you're thing. Going, you're going to a different angle. Oh my god! You're saying celebrities. I'm saying sometimes you might be sitting next to somebody that you can have a conversation and level up. Now, yeah. when you go into your sleep uniform or your I'm ready to make a connection uniform, you might yield some different results. That's I, all I'm saying. I get it. Now, if that's what you're going to the airport for, I am I'm not going to the airport for. Well, what that. I'm saying, no, what I mean is like if you're going in the airport with that mentality, like damn, I could meet the next, you know, I could sit next to Bill Gates and do whatever, and it's just like, well, okay, but at, you could also have a conversation with somebody that looks a certain way and then be blown away by the the intellect that they have. 
So just because you see me outwardly with this whatever. I'm not going to talk to you. You're, yeah, okay, well, sometimes you miss your, you block your own blessing. I'm blocking my blessing for somebody that's in the do rag. No, what I'm saying is shorts. Are we okay. If that's it, again. If am that's, I blocking my blessing? It's it's you know what? It's crazy that you say that. It's almost like when y'all look at men and he don't got the right outfit on. Well, sis, you block your blessing. Like you, can you say think that. Du- dudes are not saying that, and y'all are not saying that. He looked dusty. So it's the same thing. I, like business opportunities can come and up. And I, under, I understand right. you dress for the part that you want. Yeah. I wholeheartedly understand what you're saying. I'm just speaking because most of the time, I don't think that people are, when they're going on vacations or they're going on trips or they're going in the airport, you're not thinking about that. Now, if you said like airport is, I mean, I'm not thinking anybody's going to be talking to anybody in the airport because everybody's doing hustle and bustle. But if you like, okay, you're out and you're job hunting and you're not going to go out job hunting. Just look in any old type of way. You're going to make sure that you have on um, slacks and, you know, a button up or whatever. Even if you're just going to apply just to fill out applications, like you're going to dress a certain way when you go to fill out applications. That's now that's different. But I'm like, when you go to the airport, it's leisure. I need to be comfortable in the airport. I don't like who said that. Huh? Who said you need to be comfortable at the airport? Who said that? What rule is that? I didn't say it was a rule, but I'm saying for me, I want to be comfortable in the airport. I got to take all this stuff off. I got to take everything off and then put it all back on. So yeah, if but I, it doesn't have to be pajamas with a blanket on with a bonnet well, on. Well, yeah. I mean, who is going to the airport in pajamas and a blanket? I'll put an image right here. I'll put an image Please. right there. And I'll put an image right here. He is not talking about the majority. He is talking about y'all. What'd you call him? What, what's the name? A hump? What was the name? <laughs> heffalumps. <or? laughs> yeah, he's talking about y'all heffalumps that do that. But this is what I'm trying to tell you. Is like how the y'all be a, when y'all go into the airport looking like that, how y'all afford to go on a trip? Because of Spirit Airlines. Nah, because even, yeah, even Spirit, Spirit Airlines. Don't no, they, they got the most of them. But what I, here's what I'm saying again. This is the mentality that we have to change y'all be pissing me off. as a people. And I'm going to sound like an Uncle Ruckus. They're going to call me Uncle Tom or whatever. But <laughs> when we went to when we went to um, Kenya this year, mm-hmm. I ain't going to tell you where we were sitting. We had some seats. We didn't look like slobs. <laughs> and we had some great conversations with some people. Yeah. And people were able to tell us where to eat, where not to go. We got a list of... Uh, Right. Cab drivers, we you know what I'm saying? I understand what you're saying because now that's not the job. Right. But that is the connection. Yeah. And hey, let's have dinner this day, blah blah. And I mean I get it. Because Some people are gonna be you scared. Look yes. A certain way. I you look approachable, that. you look presentable. It's like when you have a woman with rest in B face. What about like how is somebody gonna talk to you when they feel intimidated by your rest in B face? I mean, yeah, so you people that be wearing all black with the long trench coats and the You look like a murderer. Please. I'm not talking to you. When 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 if I I see you if I see that type of person walking in the store, I'm not going that way. It's and that's why I keep telling you perception is crazy. White people. That's like if you look gothic and you got to it's my whatever that goth stuff is. No, my daughter calls them banging with that. Their names are now emos. Whatever that is. I don't know. They're like, they're emotional. When you look like a co- shooter. Can we nah. say that? I'll probably delete it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a delete. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Control alt. Delete. I'll delete that one. Yeah, but, but if you, you look, look like, like that, you about to. When you look like Keanu Reeves in The Matrix. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I, yeah. I mean, it even it don't even have to be that deep for me. Like, it's just certain. If you look a certain way to me, I'm just like, yeah, I probably ain't gonna go that way. So I get it. So I understand. The same thing, you, you know, know I, what I'm I understand. And what you're I saying. just feel like we block whatever's coming to us. Sometimes, like I have great conversations where people see me, you know, you know, playing with my daughter or whatever. They be like, oh man, yo, that's what's up. And you, you know, we talk and yeah. it's like exchange yeah. some information. It's good to have those approaches and stuff like that. But when you completely cut yourself off and you fall asleep on a plane, you just, first of all, you're not aware of what's going around your surroundings. I can't, first, well, first of all, I can't fall asleep. I cannot go to sleep on a plane. I don't care how long the flight is. I had a flight to California and I was up the entire time. When I tell you that was the longest flight of my life, 
but I can't go to sleep. I need to know. I need Try to see who's hours, on bro. here. Yeah, we going to go places. I, 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 I need to see who's on here. I need to know the pilot. I need to pay attention. I, need to know the pilot. I got to see all of these things because God forbid some go wrong. Mm-mm. I, I, yeah, I don't. I want to be up. I, I like to know if I'm dying. I don't want to die in my sleep if I, you know, like that. I don't, I don't want to do that. I'm going out in my sleep. Nah, because, but. I mean, I get it. Like, I feel like we should start to begin to um, have our present ourselves the way we want to be seen. Now, if you want to be seen as whatever, a heifer lump, then you can present yourself as such. Um, If you want to be seen as someone that is approachable or someone that, you know, somebody might be interested in, then... You do that. And it's not, you don't have to go all out. I'm not saying put makeup on every day, ladies. I'm not saying do all of these things. But if you I didn't say that either, so please take, don't put it If on you me. could take your bonnet off, or if that's what you if you want to wear your hair tied up, if you could put a scarf on in a certain type of way where it doesn't look like you just rolled out the bed and did whatever, then then do that. If you don't want to, you also do not have to. You 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 can do whatever you want to do because y'all clearly gonna do whatever y'all want to do anyway, and then y'all gonna be like, "Well, I don't got it." Da, 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 da. Okay. But then they gonna be like, "Why no man want me? Why he ain't talk to me? How can he scared to look at me?" Well, you got a big back, man, and you wearing a bonnet, I'm not worried. and you falling asleep. Yikes! So, <laughs> and you thought that it was okay to move you and your three kids I'm about across to say, somewhere uh, else to get to be an influencer. Okay. I'm a little bit, let's end it like this. I'm pissed off. I want DIFUS or whatever the responsibility people are in, in Houston Tech. No, they got to do their job. I'm paying taxes, federal taxes. Mm-hmm. Help them kids, bro. Like, them free iPads you had them on, it's not enough. Get her some training. Get a social worker over there. It's been a shot of discourse. Bye. <laughs>